All skin tones are a combination of warm and cool or neutral colors. There are so many different types, but I'm just going to give you four simple recipes today that you can modify on your own. For this first skin tone, I'm using Spanish orange, mulberry orange, and dark brown. Dark brown is going to be my cooling or neutral agent, and the others are going to be my warm colors. If you're using a different type of color pencil, choose colors that are comparable. Next, I'm going to make a gradient, and I'm going to layer them one by one. Starting with my lightest color, with my Spanish orange, and I'm going from very light pressure to heavier pressure as I go to the right side to make a value gradient. Then I'm going to layer each color on top following the same process, light on the left side and getting darker as I go to the right side to build my gradient. Remember to hold your color pencil far back and to use the side of the pencil to make even layers. Next I'm going to take my white color pencil and I'm going to put it on top of everything. It's not so much to make things lighter, but it's more about getting rid of my pencil strokes and making everything smooth. You could also do this with another color. It's just that white works out for skin tone, but the process of burnishing just means layering layers of color pencil and pressing hard until you eliminate all the pencil strokes. Next thing we're going to do is put these onto a form. So I'm going to divide my circle into three values. I'm going to have my light, my midtone, and my shadow. And then I'm going to continue with the same process that I did before. I'm going to start with my lightest color, applying lighter pressure in the light area, medium pressure in the midtone, and heavier pressure in the shadows. And I'll layer all of my colors the same way that I did for my scale. And then I will put white all over everything. So we're trying to make a skin tone sphere. Even after you've burnished with your white, you can always go back in and make things darker if you feel like you don't have a big enough value range. We're going to continue this exact same process, but with three different other skin tones. This time I'm going to use orange, mulberry, and sienna brown as my warm colors, and I'm going to use violet and dark brown as my cooling slash neutral colors. Remember that as you work on your gradient and your sphere to work from light colors to dark colors and then put white on at the end. As you're completing these, think about what you might use for your own skin tone. What is your undertone? Is it more pink? Is it more blue? Is it more green? Is it more purple? And what might you use for your warm tones? This time I'm using peach and pink as my warm colors and dark brown and green as my cooling neutral colors. For our last one, we're going to use sienna brown and orange as our warm colors, and we're going to use dark brown, violet, and indigo blue as our cooling colors.